God is good. Hello everyone. Welcome to Praying for a Hurting World with Father Michael and Father Michael's Ministries. This is part three of what the devil can't say. This is Father Michael's Ministries and this is our creed in Jesus Christ. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism. Through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial. Through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension. Through the strength of his descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me. God's might to uphold me. God's wisdom to guide me. God's eye to look before me. God's ear to hear me. God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near, alone and in multitude. I arise today through a mighty strength invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. Christian parishioners, get ready to hear from Father Michael. Hello, my people. Hello, my children. Hello, my parishioners. This is Father Michael of Father Michael's Ministries. I'm hoping that you all are doing well, and if not, perhaps we could change that. And, you know, I just wanted to start off just by telling my people and whomever is listening that I, Father Michael, you know, being an independent Episcopal priest, you know, love everyone. I love everyone. I wish that, you know, that it's just as Jesus Christ did, that he wished that everyone, you know, would come to heaven. Fortunately, you know, that's not true, but, but wow, I, I wish that, you know, everyone could, around the whole world could be a Christian and just go ahead and, you know, and then, you know, the, the, the world could be a Christian religion, but I'm going to stop right there. That's just, you know, that's just a, a vision I've had, but, you know, and other, there's been many, many, many other ministers that, you know, you know, really wanted that too, you know, I mean, you know, it's just a Christian thing you'd want, you know, it's okay, the whole world be Christian, go by Christian religion, believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God, hey, that'd be great, but, uh, uh, that I really, honestly, I do not know if it would ever happen in the first place. But, not why I caught preaching tonight. No, I'm preaching. What I'm preaching on is about this thing, you know, that's, you know, it's kind of getting more known to mankind, but because I'm, you know, I'm telling from my downloads and. And, um, uh, that, um, you know, my prime directive of, uh, this, uh, my, you know, my, Father Michael's ministry is salvation. So, you know, when I said something the devil can't say, you and me for J.C., yes, J.C. meaning Jesus Christ, well, no, he can't say, um, you and me for J.C. because, I mean, he couldn't point at you and say, you... And then point back at himself and me for JC, you know. I mean, he couldn't do that. He can't do that. I mean, really, people, I mean, honestly, you know, think about it. If you don't really, I mean, you don't buy it somehow in a way, think about it for a while. And then, well, well and those who do believe and do, you know, uh, you know, believe exactly what I'm saying. Tell somebody about it. Tell some. Tell somebody at your church if you go to church. And tell someone about it at your work, you know, or tell someone about it just wherever. Spread the good news. Spread the gospel. It's okay. It's not a problem. 
you know, a lot of people, you know, has had a lot of trouble out of the devil. They know they have. You know, they'd like to say, they'd like to say, now, wait a minute. You're trying to tell me this is something that he can't say. And yes, it is. You know, so, I mean, a lot of people out there has had a lot of trouble out of the devil. No, I know that they have. Can say, now, wait a minute. Okay. This is a, you know, wonderful thing here. This is something the this is something the devil can't say. This is something our enemy, Satan, you know, he can't say. He can't do it. He can't. Because it's, um, it's, it's it, but, it, but it's, um, uh, it's very similar to this. You know, in the, you know, some people see Satan as, or, you know, um, uh, um, uh, as someone, you know, that has a high enough power that they could, you know, pretty much just see God, period. But in the book of Job, you know, it, 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 it says that, you know, that when, um, the sons of uh, men were, you know, waiting to, um, see God to present themselves, you know, the angels, and, and Lucifer was amongst them, actually. Satan, the devil, yeah. See, he couldn't just go up to God and say, Hey, what's up, God? This is what I got to say to you. No, uh-uh. He had to present himself in line behind the sign. And whenever, I guess, the whatever the count was, to see God himself. So, same thing. He can't say you and me for JC, you and me for Jesus Christ. He cannot say that. It's kind of neat, kind of finding a little, little something on him. Because, you know, obviously everyone knows. And if you don't know, he's a liar. He's a thief. He, you know, there is no truth in him. And if it is a truth, it's a half truth. And it just, it's just, it just lies upon lies and stuff. He wants to kill you. He wants us to steal. He wants you from every, everything you've got. He wants you know, in your health included, not just your pay back, not your, not just your um, uh, bankroll or whatever. It's just your, um, uh, you know, he's, um, uh, he's he, he wants to he'll steal your health. He wants to steal your wealth. He wants to steal, you know, whatever he can steal from you. He'll steal. He don't care. He's not a respecter of persons. <laughs> He, did, he really, you know, believe you me, he's not. He don't care about nobody, anybody of my own self. But of course, you know, but even he knows one day it's coming up. It's going to be the end for him. He knows it. He knows it. But, you know, I say, you know, that knowing, you know, this, you know, and everything for the, you know, you know, you and me for JC, you know, saying that um, uh, it's getting closer to what I was, you know, talking about, you know, for the tangible products to be done with uh, with uh, the you and me for JC um, uh, um, theme. But um, uh, as I was, um, uh, I just I'll just briefly say this that that I'm um, that I will have to um, uh, um, raise uh, some money to um, uh, to whereas I can you know go into more legalities to this to whereas I didn't know exactly how much in the first place what it would really cost to even you know to get to where I have a actually non profit, you know, as far as if I, it's called a 501c all you know out there who that is you know what I'm talking about, okay yeah, yeah, that's really a wonderful thing, but um uh, right, but um uh, yeah, I've got to do that, plus a bunch of other things, so yes, you know I'll, on uh, there will be um, different places that I'm uh, that I, I am going to, you know, ask for some uh, funding, and then, but right now I am not going to uh, um, say uh, what that is just yet. But I just want to go ahead and uh, yeah, and uh, stop talking about, you know, um, uh, uh, what what I need, you know. Oh, and um, I wanted to ask to say thank you all very much because I believe 
that some of you out there have been praying for me in my ministry. I totally do. I totally believe it because it's somehow I wound, somehow I wound up talking to the right person and the right people that can possibly do something about the funding I'm going to be getting, but everything. But like I said, you know. Yeah, I'm not want to get too far into that, but hey, all you people out there have been praying for me, my ministry, thank you very much. God bless you, you know. Yeah, I pray for you too, people. I mean, sometimes you just say, I pray for the whole people of the entire earth, you know, and everything. Yeah, you can do that if you want to. There's no rule that says you can't. You know, I mean, I get, I mean, maybe in some countries it might be, but here in what's pretty, pretty much the United States, we can't, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that, especially with down here in the Bible Belt. You better believe it. Uh, yeah, Bible Belt. Yes, yeah, we can do all that. <laughs> but I'm um, uh, praise the Lord. But you know, and seriously, you know, other than you know what the devil can't do, and and what of your of the, of the other things that I've been trying to get going and everything. You know, remember that you know the prime directive of my ministry is um salvation right so um uh, you know i just you know wanted to ask you know all of you out there who can hear me it's like uh, do you know jesus christ as your personal lord and savior in other words you know do you want him in other words you accept accept him to be this you know and people you know really need to you know accept him to be you know to be their lord and savior and their master you know, as to where, you know, they can enter the kingdom of heaven and not burn in hell forever. So, I mean, it's like, and, um, uh, and you know, and um, I'll just say this, I'll just say this now, that and if anyone does get saved, you know, that don't worry about water baptism, you know, right now, because, um, there's still the devil's virus out there. A few more things have popped up. Some people just don't feel quite comfortable doing that. So, I mean, if a person got saved and, you know, they didn't get baptized for that reason, Jesus would understand. He would know that the devil's virus, that's what I call, you know, the COVID-19 or any other thing comes out. I guess maybe something else comes out bad enough. I'll call it the demon virus. I, well, I, got, you know, I, I guess that's what I'll do. So, I'm... Um, uh, you give it do what it's do, you know. So, um, uh, but uh, I, you know, our, our Lord Jesus Christ, you know, our, our Lord Jesus, you know, he died a very, very cruel cross, you know, cruel, cruel, very cruel death on the cross. Yeah, I mean, he did. It was horrible. I mean, you know, and some people really just don't know that, you know, it wasn't just hands. It was, I mean, it spikes in his hands. It was spikes and each of his wrists too or it would have ripped straight through his hands so yeah I mean it was worse it was just it was really really more worse than anybody really would want to know but and, you know then he went to hell for three days you know but him and the devil got into it I'm pretty sure and he kicked him uh, kicked his butt for a while ha 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 but I'm um, uh it's kind of like well that's what you and me for JC's for too hallelujah but I'm um, uh we need to I'm um, uh you know, and understand this, that, you know, and also if you backslid and when you were a Christian and then you started sinning too bad and you, and, you, and, you, and you lost your way, you need to come back. You can come back. You can always come back to Jesus. Jesus never said, you know, you know, if you go away from me, you can't never come back. Or, or if you ever leave my home, you, you can't come, ever come back to my home. No, Jesus never said nothing like that. Jesus always said, hey, I'm here. Jesus said, Jesus said, hey, I'm here. I paid the price for you. It's a free gift. You don't have to pay anything. Jesus Christ paid the penalty for the death and the resurrection he did upon the cross. From the cross, yes. So, upon that principle, I would like, I have a prayer that I'm, uh, that um, uh, speaks volumes, it's, but it's very short. And so, please, you know, if you haven't ever been saved before, or you've never been, or you've been backslidden, and you know, 
you fallen away from you know the Lord and everything, and you need to get right back with Him. You you should. Okay, so people just wherever you are, you know wherever you happen to be right now, if it's possible, you know I like to ask you just to close your eye, close your eyes and bow your head. And I like you to you know, just and say these words. If you can't say them aloud, you can say them in your mind. God can read your mind and say, Father God, okay, in the name of Jesus, forgive me of my sins in word, thought, and deed. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Wonderful. That's the first time you've ever prayed that prayer. You're a Christian now. Welcome to the world of Christianity. If you have been backslidden and your back right where you need to be with Jesus, stay right back with Jesus. Glory, glory hallelujah. And um, uh, I had already mentioned about baptism, so I just want to get straight into just saying the things that, you know, just keep in mind, you know, at one point, you people pray. Please keep praying for me in the ministry. That we'll be able to able to raise our funds and everything that we need to do our legal uh, red tape and stuff like that. So please keep praying for us and um, uh, possibly in the future, you know, uh, uh, please, you know, send a few Christian love offerings to where as where it, it would be at. So, but like right now, we're not. I'm not doing that. I'm just saying in the future, you know. Yes, you know, you know. I'm eventually gonna need a little help. So please pray for me, and think about it for later on. Say eventually later on, and maybe if I can help just a little bit here, here's a little bit just here for your goal. And there you go. What? Well, you know, I just, I, I just want to just, I, I, I just want to add a faith. I just want to add a faith. Just. Just, just wow, man. no I just based, I wanted to say out of faith that I believe that truly you know Well, truly, the Holy Spirit can get a hold of you just a little bit, and you have to let him go, let go a little bit. But no, he, the, the Lord is just working on some people's hearts right now. You know, for um, uh, people that could help a little bit, maybe. You know, I, believe, I just feel the Lord's actually pricked a few hearts and said, hey, you know, you might be able to do a little something maybe later on. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Yeah, I say I don't know, but I believe the Lord is kind of giving me the unction to say, hey, you know, it's going to happen. You know, because the, 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 the money needs to be met for, the, for this, you and me, for JC to get out and around. So it, the Lord the Lord will help. The Lord is going to help it, you know, me and and then anyone who blesses my me and my ministry, God will bless them. I I truly, honestly believe that. I do honestly, honestly believe that. You know, if people bless you know my ministry, you know, and and then um, I believe God will you know bless them. So and that's 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 the um, I, all I wanted to really. Um, get into that for right now because like right now I'm not you know we're not I'm uh, uh, trying to raise any funds right now so but in the future we will okay but anyways I just you know just wanted to thank you all you know for um, uh, uh, listening me for me you know into today and um, uh, and then, you know I just uh, just wanted to thank you for coming into your home and your hearts and uh, wherever you may be living or wherever or whatever you have a roof over your head hopefully you do let us not forget let us not forget the homeless people let us pray for them let us not forget about the the, 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 the drug the, the alcohol and drug addicts are out there on the streets too or whatever and they're veterans it's, you know let's let's pray for them. You know, it's just, we got to remember, you know, people in the United States, we need to pray, we need to pray for our country. 
we, we do. We need to pray for our leaders because, you know, there's some leaders that really need some prayer, if not an exorcism. But I'm, uh, but I'm, uh, I just, you know, just wanted to thank you all for, you know, just doing what all you've done and listening to me for all these four years and over four years now. I just wanted to thank you and everything's going to come to pass. I know I'd like for it to happen like six months ago, but it just don't work that way. But this is Father Michael just saying, you know, I love you, and I want to give you a, 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 a blessing in the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We certainly hope that you enjoyed the, the Bible teaching and Bible preaching from Father Michael and Father Michael's ministries. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 18, the Savior said this, Where two or more are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. And that's what we wish for at Praying for a Hurting World, Father Michael, Father Michael's Ministries. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, become a part of the Praying for a Hurting World faith community. Uh, this is Father Michael's Ministries saying until next time, take care and God bless you.